Hi, this is Cindy with Cindy's Crapping Corner, and I'm here to show you the Graphic 45 um, 4x4 album made with the Playtime's Past. Um, I picked the boy papers, and I just love this because you, you get a whole album when you get all your um, pages back. So I made a cover for mine, and I am so sorry, I don't remember who did this, but I loved it. Um, and decided to do the same thing. So I'm sorry for not mentioning your name. Um, maybe if you're watching this, you can comment and tell me it was you. Um, but thank you. So um, I did make a cover, and all I did was it really was about it was 12 inches. Um, I cut the papers and or the chipboard um, into about four and a half by four and a half, and then. This was um, four and a half by, I think it was like three, three and a half or three, and then four and a half, and then I laid it on the paper. This paper collection is from the Tim Holtz paper stack. It's the um, one with the alphabets. And it's from his new paper stack. Um, so I thought that would look cute. I didn't have any more papers from the Playtime's Past. I can't find it anywhere. I just ordered enough for my page and that was it. So um, I thought it would go well. Um, I didn't know how to do this and so when I folded the pages over the paper cracked. Um, I even scored it but it wasn't um, I don't think I put enough space in between. So I just took some black trim and hot glued it around the corners and it covered the the cracks so that worked out good um, I also took some of this uh, jute rope it's kinda like a wax string and I just put an eyelet here and did a slip knot around that and then um, I took a button and punched a hole and stuck the button I left the um, shank on the button and I stuck it through and used that same wax thread and wrapped it around and that's what's holding holding the button on and so you just wrap it around to keep it closed because they are these albums are really really chunky and I just took a Tim Holtz um, clock here and this was just a little chipboard sticker that I put diamond glaze on um, this was a bingo card that I just cut off the top um, this piece here is the Tim Holtz die um, that it was underneath Arlene's flower that she gave me. Um, so I cut it in half and I'm going to use it on another project that I'm going to show you pretty soon, the other half of it. And um, these are some making memories. Charms here are just like metal findings. Um, I got those for 50% uh, off at Michael's. Um, they're kind of pricey. Um, I, but they're really neat. With 50% off it was a lot better price. And then I just used some bling here um, inside and I won't go, oh see I'm cracking it again so I'm gonna, I didn't, I didn't allow enough space. I'll do it better next time but I'm not gonna redo it. Um, this was my page and I'll just show you these really quick. These are just so cute. I just love how these turned out. This album is just adorable. And I'll uh, hopefully fill it with pages of my son. Go back and find some pages of when he was little. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I think I'm going to go back and make a cover for one of my other ones, the Fashionista ones. And because um, I like how it, I can tie it together. So that's my little album. And um, I'm going to come back and show you I'm making a travel album. And um, i got to hurry up because we're going to be leaving soon. So I will come back and show you that. Thanks for watching.